My name is Dr. Jacqueline Moore from the Nelson Mandela University. My research is focused on blue carbon ecosystems and their responses to climate change. Blue carbon refers to the carbon stored in vegetated coastal ecosystems, specifically in mangroves, salt marshes and sea grasses. Blue carbon ecosystems are highly efficient at sequestering CO2 from the atmosphere and converting it to organic carbon, which is then stored within the plant biomass as well as in the sediments. As blue carbon ecosystems occur within intertidal zones, the saline waterlogged conditions allow sediment carbon stocks to accumulate and to be preserved over decadal to millennial timescales if the ecosystem is not disturbed, degraded or removed. Blue carbon ecosystems are therefore more efficient carbon sinks per unit area than terrestrial ecosystems, including rainforests. In South Africa, blue carbon ecosystems occur in estuaries. Their distribution is determined by climate across the four biogeographic regions which is the tropical, subtropical, warm temperate and cool temperate regions. Their distribution is also determined by estuary type. For example, the size of the floodplain determines available space for the ecosystem and the inlet state as permanently open or temporarily closed influences tidal connectivity. And this is especially important for mangroves. Mangroves occur on the warm east coast of South Africa. Only six estuaries support mangrove forests greater than 50 hectares, and the total mangrove cover is 2,000 hectares. Salt marshes are the most extensive blue carbon ecosystem in South Africa and cover 14,700 hectares. The largest salt marsh ecosystems occur in estuaries along the warm temperate and cool temperate coastlines. Sea grasses cover the smallest area with only 1,700 hectares nationally. As blue carbon ecosystems occur in estuaries, they are vulnerable to human related pressures, such as habitat loss with land use change, estuary flow modification, reduced water quality and eutrophication, and inappropriate artificial breaching. Despite these pressures, blue carbon ecosystems also provide opportunities as nature-based solutions towards climate change mitigation and adaptation. Our recent work has shown that blue carbon ecosystems can be incorporated into South Africa's national greenhouse gas inventory to enhance CO2 mitigation potential of the land sector. The National Greenhouse Gas Inventory forms part of our nationally determined contribution, which is our commitment to the Paris Agreement. Furthermore, restoration of blue carbon ecosystems will enhance CO2 drawdown and contribute to climate change adaptation. This is because blue carbon ecosystems provide a multitude of ecosystem services that contribute to the resilience of coastal communities. These include providing natural shoreline protection against sea level rise, coastal erosion and floods, water filtration and purification, as well as biodiversity support, including rare species, as well as fish and invertebrates that are important for subsistence, recreational and commercial fisheries. Overall, there is a need to safeguard remaining blue carbon ecosystems and to carry out targeted active restoration in those that have been degraded. This can be achieved through the development and implementation of a national estuaries restoration program.